Hey guys, Bruce from You Buy a Drone. I just wanted to show you a couple cool things about the LaForge video transmitter that we really haven't gone over. We kind of sneaked it a little bit here and there, but um, since it's been in production, we haven't really shown it, but the capabilities are still there. First, let me go ahead and plug the quad in. This is my test quad I use to test all the equipment with. Um, I've got motors hooked up to it, a camera, and just some simple things so I can just test things. Um, what you'll notice here is I have a series of LEDs hooked up to this one. So you can run these, like we've said, as far as your um, power source can handle. Now, of course, the more you add, the more amperage you're gonna need out of your five volt source. So right now it's in bind mode, but when I switch it over, you'll notice it goes to the cop lights and it strobes just like it should. Now, when I go back to the bind mode, it goes back into that. Now, the cool thing that I wanted to show you is again, the thing that we left out of all of the um, videos up until this point, is that you can use an OLED screen as your source of information. So I've gone ahead and wired this up. This takes four wires versus the three of the LEDs. So all I did was I borrowed the audio cable from the VTX, that way I have enough for that harness. And then I used the LED harness that came with the video transmitter and the LEDs, and then I can hook it up to this. now. This screen I recycled from a remote module, which is quite expensive for you guys to buy a remote module just to take the screen off. I will include a link in the uh, video a little bit later on so that you can just order those off of eBay. They're pretty inexpensive if you wanted to do this. Now, remember these are glass still, so if you are gonna be rough on your quad, then I wouldn't recommend doing it, but if it's just a easy flyer around the park and you just wanna have that bling factor for your friends, then this is kind of cool to do. So basically you'll just wire it up in, in line. If you follow the video transmitter wiring diagram that's on the website, then it's it's exactly the same. Ground VCC, which is your um, five volt source, SCL and SDA. Uh, you'll plug it straight into the accessory port of the video transmitter. Now when you plug the quad in, you'll notice that it comes right up with the similar information that you have. Now it's flash and binding. I don't know if the camera will, will catch that or not, um, but right now it's in bind mode, so it's flashing binding down here in the bottom. Uh, when you go to transmit it, that turns off and says transmitting. And then after a few seconds, it will show you that it's like a license plate. So it just scrolls through um, like a screensaver, all your frequencies and stuff like that that you're on. Now, if you, go back into the bind mode you'll notice the OLED shows your call sign at the top it shows your channel frequency 25 milliwatt um, power source it's got the speaker uh, which is the audio ground or not grounded so right now it's not grounded and then the lock showing if it's locked or not locked now I already have the remote uh, turned on so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn the audio so you can see what happens when the speaker turns. So set up, let me ground the audio. It's difficult with one hand being video audio is on and then VTX power will change that to 200 and we will, doesn't matter what our LED mode is and then manual mode. And I'm going to change the frequency to 5885 just so we can see that change. So I'm going to go ahead and hold the remote up to the um, video transmitter. It says received. You'll notice it changed to E5, 5885, 200. And now it shows that the audio is on. Now, obviously it's not because I don't have it plugged in. But that's basically what you do. Once you go back to transmit, it says transmitting. And now you're on 5885. And then it's a, a visual indication on the little license plate like thing. Again, this is um, glass, so I would only do it if it's on a bling quad that you just want to show off. Because um, if you are in a race quad and you plan on hitting poles or concrete walls or whatever else you might plan on hitting, this is going to be delicate if you don't protect it. But that's just one of the features, again, that we haven't gone over a lot of since it's been in production, but it is there if you want to utilize it. If you have any questions, hit us up on Facebook or open a help desk ticket at youbuyadrone.com. We'll talk to you later.